Hi folks, I'm so high on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Pixel XL or Pixel. The root method was just posted by Chainfire today. Uh, this will basically root your phone. Now this will work the same on all the unlocked Pixel and Pixel XL. If you have a Verizon version, you'll have to unlock the bootloader using the Sunshine method. All right, that's not part of this tutorial. Just go ahead and Google it, do the unlocking part, and you can follow the rest of the fast boot instructions of this tutorial. Anyway, let's go ahead and root the Pixel or the Pixel XL. Let's go do this, baby. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go into settings, go into about phone. Uh, make sure you have Android version 7.1, 7.1.1. It should work on those. If you have like newer version of Android, um, check my site for the latest root method. All right, first thing you wanna do is go to the build number and go hit it, hit it a bunch of times until it says you're now a developer. All right, go ahead and hit the back button. Go into developer options and make sure OEM unlock is checked on. OEM unlocking checked on, right? Enable and you should see OEM unlocking is checked on, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and power off our phone. Power off. And we're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button, all right? Volume down and the power button. All right, let go of the buttons when you see this sign here. Uh, when you see this, uh, this is called a fast boot mode, bootloader mode. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and connect uh, USB type C to our computer. You can use Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'll be using uh, Windows here. And if you're using Mac or Linux, I'll have the commands you have to type uh, for those, All right? Let's go to our computer. All right, guys, next you will need to download a bunch of different files. Um, go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Go ahead and unzip these files into a folder called Fastboot. Uh, then you'll get uh, all the files you need for Mac, Windows, or Linux. If you're using a Chromebook, you can also use a Chromebook. Just go ahead and download the ADB uh, Chrome app for, um, AD for Chromebook, for Chrome. All right, um, also you'll need, if you're using Windows, go ahead and download USB underscore driver dot zip and unzip it. You'll get a folder with USB underscore dri driver when you unzip it. I'll have links to all of this. Also, you'll need a, either a root dash sailfish dash pixel dot zip. This is if you have a pixel. If you have a pixel XL, download the root dash marlin dash pixel XL dot zip. All right, so I have unzipped root sailfish pixel dot zip since I have uh, the pixel. You're gonna go here and do a right click on the boot to root.img and go into your fast boot folder and go ahead and right click and paste. All right, next what you're gonna do is um, make sure you have drivers installed. If you have Mac or Linux or Chromebook, you do not need drivers. You can go ahead and skip this step. Uh, if you have Windows, Windows 7, 8, 10, all that good stuff, 11, um, go ahead and go into device manager and you'll see uh, Android with exclamation mark. Go ahead and double click it, hit update driver, go to browse my computer for driver software, and then go ahead and click on, let me pick from a list of device drivers, um, pick show all devices, follow this exact step, otherwise sometimes you'll get an error. Hit next, go to have disk, browse, go into your download folder where you unzipped a, a USB underscore driver folder, go into that folder, I'll click on Android underscore winusb.inf, Hit OK, and this is exactly the way you install um, Windows drivers on any Google phone, Nexus phones. Um, so it's exactly the same drivers. Um, click on Android DB interface, hit Next. Um, go ahead and say Yes. Close, close, and you should have Android ADB interface. Now, sometimes you may have drivers installed already, then you may already have it installed. So long as you see something like ADB interface, you're good to go. Right? Sometimes it can be a different driver, but so long as it's an ADB driver, you're good to go. You can close out of there, and we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader first. So go ahead and open up a command prompt. You can go uh, to start search and type CMD. And what we're gonna do is use a DOS command and go into this directory. Let me go ahead and change the size of this. All right, guys, what you're gonna do is go ahead and type CD space downloads, hit enter and go ahead and type CD fastboot, hit enter. 
and you should be, not get any errors. This is same for uh, Mac or Linux, right? Uh, if you have a download directory that's not, you know, called downloads, then enter that instead. It could be download instead of downloads, right? Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Um, so this will erase everything on your phone. So before you go ahead, um, know that you're gonna reset your whole phone. So if you're not ready to do this, stop, reboot your phone, back up everything, and come back to this step, all right? I've warned you once, we're gonna wipe everything on your device because unlocking the bootloader will erase everything. Next, we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space flashing space unlock, just like that. Now for Mac or Linux, um, go ahead and type the commands, the substitute commands. For Mac, it's just like dot slash fastboot dash Mac. Um, so go ahead and read my instructions for Mac or Linux. For Windows, it's like this. Let's go ahead and press it. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And go to your phone and you'll say unlock bootloader. Go ahead and use the volume keys to select yes. Hit the power key. All right, and your phone will reboot. All right, and it should now say devices unlocked. All right, then you're good to go. Let's go back to our computer. And next we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space boot space boot to dash root dot img. The file you copied over earlier into fast boot folder. Oops, go ahead and hit enter. And this will download uh, the boot image with root and your phone should be rooted. You will have to start over, uh, but once it boots up, you should be able to uh, have a rooted pixel or pixel Excel, All right? That's pretty much it. But uh, let's give it a second here. Let me go ahead and just set this phone down. All right, guys, uh, once booted up, let me go ahead and sign in. All right, um, if you don't see Super SU, you may have to do it once more. So go ahead and power off. We're gonna do that last command one more time. Go ahead and hold down, volume down, power. All right, go ahead and plug it to your computer. And go ahead and repeat the command, fast boot, uh, space boot space boot to root.img, hit enter. All right, your phone will reboot and hopefully uh, we got it rooted this time. All right guys, moment of the truth. Did it work? And boom shakalaka. All right, go ahead and run it, go to expert. If you don't get any errors, go ahead and follow uh, Chainfire. By the way, Chainfire is the one uh, who made this route possible. Thanks again. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Google+. Plus. All right, um, to verify you have full roots, go ahead and download Titanium Backup App. Um, go ahead and hit install. And boom shakalaka, baby. Uh, so if you get uh, the super user request window, your Pixel or Pixel XL has been fully rooted. And that's how you root uh, your Pixel or Pixel XL. And thanks for watching this video. Now you should be able to root your Pixel or Pixel XL very easily. Now this root method only gives you root. It doesn't actually give you Torp recovery. That is actually pretty easy. You can use Flashify. Once Torp is available, flash it on Pixel or Pixel XL. Anyway, have a great day. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay. <laughs> Subscribe!